we have an interesting question. Integral of x squared times x cubed plus 1 squared dx. And we are going to do this two ways. The first way, let me write it in blue. The first way is going to be by pattern recognition. Pattern recognition. And this thing, you can do it in your head. In your head. In your head. And the second way we're going to try doing is by u substitution. Second way, let me do it in red actually. Second way is going to be u substitution. And this thing requires you to write things out. Write things out. So you may say, why can't we write things out? Why can't we use pattern recognition every time? I want to do the two things in your head. And I'm going to say, yes, pattern recognition is considerably faster than you substitution. So once you get more accurate and once you've had practice, I do recommend using pattern recognition when you can. But when problems get much, much more complex, you substitution, actually writing things out can help you immensely and organize your work. So depending on the type of problem and how much practice you've had, uh, you should alternate in between pattern recognition and use substitution. And I recommend you master both ways. So let's start with pattern recognition. And I've, I've already made some videos about this. When you have integral of some function of some expression u, and you have derivative of u and dx, you can consider derivative of u as being going away. You can think of this as being going away, and you can integrate with respect to u as you've always done. So let's, let's consider this. What is our u? u is our function inside, or x cubed plus 1. So what's our u prime? What's our derivative? Our derivative is 3x squared, because when you differentiate x cubed plus 1, you should get 3x squared. So we want 3 to be out front, and to keep the same expression, we have to divide by 3 to, for them to cancel out and we, for us to have the same expression. And once you have u prime, you can think of this as being going away. You can ignore this and integrate as you always would, treating u to be our x to, with respect to u. So you, you have, using, using the first pattern recognition case, where one third times we're integrating u squared, which gets you. When you, when you integrate something squared, you get something cubed, something cubed divided by 3 plus c. So what we get is 1 ninth times x cubed plus 1 cubed plus c. So that's by pattern recognition, and you can, you can tell, you can do it mostly in your head, and it's pretty fast. Now let's try, now let's try u substitution. Let me rewrite the integral x x squared times x cubed plus 1 squared dx. In this case, we are actually going to write down everything out. u is equal to x cubed plus 1. So I'm going to ask you, what's du? Remember, du is the same thing as u prime dx. You're going to integrate, you're going to differentiate this, my bad. You're going to differentiate x cubed plus 1 and put dx at the end. So this thing is the same thing as 3x squared dx, because 3x squared is what you get when you differentiate u. And notice, you want to have 3x squared here, so you, you are going to multiply by 3, divide by 3. So you have integral of this thing becomes u, u squared, and you have 3x squared dx, which is equal to du. So you have one third integral of u squared du, and you can integrate this pretty easily, u cubed over 3 plus c. And now we substitute back in. We want this in terms of x, not u. So we plug in, oh, that's 1 9. So we plug in x cubed plus 1 into u. So you have x cubed plus 1 cubed plus c. And hopefully you realize we are basically doing the same thing. And for u substitution, we are more organized. We are more organized and concise, and you're actually writing things out, so it's easy to see what's going on. But when you're doing pattern recognition, you say, okay, this thing is u. Let's make this u prime. Once you have it, you can ignore this. You have something squared, so this thing becomes something cubed over 3. So you maybe you're realizing that they are doing the same thing, but pattern recognition is faster, and you can do it in your head. And I recommend trying both of them out, depending on the difficulty of the problem and how much practice you've had.